Hi guys, this is Hero, and in today's video, I'm gonna be going over the topic of fasting. So I'm gonna first jump into the spiritual benefits as that's kind of the main benefit that spreads to all the other, that causes all the other benefits, and therefore, in my opinion, it's the most important. So the spiritual benefits, the main one is that it increases your awareness. Either during the fasting or after the fasting, your awareness will increase. Why? Because we eat for a variety of subconscious reasons. Notice how I said subconscious. We don't realize why we eat. We think we eat just because, you know, we want to survive, but there's a lot of subconscious reasons why we eat. For example, if we're upset, we eat to kind of cover that up. Sometimes if we're more upset, we recognize that more consciously, but we eat for a variety of different reasons. Now, when we stop eating, also one other thing, we eat because a lot because you know, we're kind of trained to think based off of what our ego or our mind or what our body tells us to do, not what our higher conscious self tells us to do, okay? One way we can break out of that is by fasting. Why? Because it's what the ego doesn't want to do or what the body doesn't want to do or what the mind doesn't want to do. Yeah, we do need to eat to survive. I'm not telling you to not eat forever, but by breaking that chain, we can connect to our higher self in a way that's not possible by any other means. When you do fast, like I said, either during or after, you'll notice all the stuff that you stuff down from food. So for example, a lot of negative emotions that we stuff down in the hopes of you know eating like a nice juicy meal, when we don't have that, especially for like a whole day, we start getting you know a little bit cranky. And when that happens, I mentioned in my other videos that your emotions can be, you know, a, a very big negative in some sense, but it can also be a very big tool in recognizing some of the stuff that's bothering you. So when we don't, when we don't eat and when we're fasting or we're not drinking as well, drinking water or any drinking for that example, uh, for that matter, we're able to, re uh, you know, recognize a lot of the frustrations that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, a lot of the stuff that we stuffed down recently or a long time ago in the past, and those things all start coming up, especially if you meditate while fasting. And when that stuff comes up, it's a great chance to acknowledge them and kind of deal with them and accept them, and you'll notice you'll be a much lighter person, not just physically, but spiritually, mentally, you'll be much lighter moving forward. So that's probably the biggest spiritual benefit is that you gain a much awareness with the higher self because you're kind of detaching from the ego. And also, you know, you're accepting a lot of the stuff at a mental level. So I'm gonna tie this in now. You're accepting a lot of stuff there and it's basically gonna help you deal with any, you know, mental problem that you may have, okay? Anxiety will help you deal with because it'll, a lot of the stuff that we're shoving down, it'll basically help bring up, okay? Um, uh, like if you were suffering from like any sort of like ADHD or any attention, um, uh, you know, issue that will help because why? Because the whole day you're basically more aware because you're, because it's such a new experience for you to not have food. Okay. You're able to focus on fighting that urge to not have food and that will strengthen your discipline, which will fix those kind of issues. And you'll notice that, you know, when we're depressed, we tend to shove ourselves down with food. Um, if you're that person, um, if you do fast, you'll notice that you will feel better in that way also, okay? Uh, the physical benefits are, a lot of times, like I said, we, we shove ourselves down with food just for a lot of subconscious reasons besides surviving. After fasting, we're able to recognize what foods sit well with us, okay? Because after fasting, most likely, we're not just gonna shove a bunch of garbage down our throat. We're gonna select very select, we're gonna eat very selective foods. And after fasting, we're able to, you know, be more aware of our higher self and you know we're able to recognize in a way that um, you know our brain can't um, you know foods that you know sit well with our our body mind and soul now our body and mind are tools so like I just said um, we tend to let our ego and bodies you know kind of rule our decisions but however they're just tools and by fasting we're able to let our higher self you know, take more of that decision or strengthen that decision-making ability and kind of, you know, have that, have that willpower and discipline to kind of, 
use the mind and body for the tools they are and leave them in their place as tools. Okay, we want to use our mind and body, not let them use us. Now, lastly, there's different levels to fasting and that ties in with, a big part of it ties in with the frequency. So, let's just say you don't have any food or water for one day. Well, someone who does that one day out of the whole year versus doing that one day out of, you know, um, per week for a whole year, so that's like 52 times in the year, once weekly. The person who does that once a week is gonna see a lot more benefit than the person who you know, does that um, you know, once a year. You know, yeah, the person who does it once a year, um, they're gonna you know, have that increased awareness, which is great. But that person who does it you know, once every week, that awareness is kinda gonna compound on a weekly basis, okay? And I'm not saying you have to do it once a week to, to see massive results, okay? But I'm just saying the more frequently you do it, the better it'll be for you and that awareness compounds, okay, which is great. A lot of times what happens is we fast, we gain that awareness and then slowly, you know, we're getting back into that, you know, ego-based mindset and that awareness dies down and then we fast again to keep it up. But when we, when we fast over and over, that awareness keeps piling on top of each other. So that's just one thing I want to notice. Also, there's different levels of fasting. So if you're not able to do no food or water for one day, if you are able to do it for one day, you could actually go even higher and do like three days or, you know, a week of no food or water in a row, which would be very impressive. And you probably won't be able to do it at the beginning, but I would applaud you. Now, the standard, I would say the baseline is just no food or water for one day. Now, if you can't do that, that's not a problem. You can kind of, you know, just do what you can. So if you, can, if you can't do food and water, no food and water for one day, you know, just try doing uh, no food, okay? Drink, you can drink water. And if you still can't do, you know, no food, Try, you know, just eating fruits, okay? Um, and, then, and then, if you know, you still can't do just fruits, you know, you're not quite there yet, you still need a little more, you know, try just eating uh, vegetarian food, you know, don't, or vegan food. Don't, don't eat, try to avoid any animal uh, meat or any animal product. That's just an example of a scale, you know, do what you can, okay? So that's what I mean by there's different levels of fasting see what level you're at and i would say over time constantly try to improve with the level and with the frequency that's all i have for this video i hope this encouraged you to possibly include fasting in your routine this is one of those things where once you try it you'll know exactly what i'm talking about it's the same thing with meditation you can't really it's hard to describe until you actually do it once properly okay but fast the thing with meditation is you might need someone to kind of guide you to make sure you're doing it properly um but with fasting it's it's pretty simple and like i said I, I can almost guarantee you no food or water for one whole day. And when I mean one whole day, I mean, let's just say you wake up Tuesday. So let's just say the last time you ate was Monday night. Don't eat again until Wednesday morning, okay? Don't be like at Tuesday midnight, um, you know, like let's just say at Monday midnight you stopped and at Tuesday midnight you break your fast. Uh, I would encourage you not to do that. I would encourage you at least one time, go through the whole, you know, like let's just say you stopped eating Monday night, go through that whole night fasted, right? So Tuesday, the whole day, you're hungry build, and building up that you know discipline of not eating or drinking water. And then also just fall asleep right afterwards. Don't sleep, I mean, don't eat before you go to sleep. Try just sleeping and remain in that fasted state a second night and you'll see on Wednesday, your awareness will be through the roof. That's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you guys uh, include fasting. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys later.